Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the brand new mini five door hatch. Now, before we go and take a look around some of the exterior and interior designs and what's really different with this five door, how much more space is there, let's talk specification and stats and what you can get. So the five door is only available as an internal combustion engine at the moment. You can get the Mini Cooper C or the Cooper S. This one is an S. You can then also get classic, exclusive and sport. This one is an exclusive. And then you get level one, two, and level three, all with varying degrees of standard specification. This one is a level two. Now, let's go and take a look at some of the design cues. Now we start down the front and you'll see a common theme throughout this whole video is that it looks very similar to the Mini that came before. However, just with a little bit more sort of grown up feel to it. Of course, it still retains so much of that character that is just, it has to be there for the Mini family. So this grill down here, this sort of shape is very similar to the one that came before. You've got this sort of effect across here with the S designation on there too. The lights, very similar, but also quite different. These can be customized now within the operating system in the car. And then this, signifies the exclusive bit this gold sort of across here round the grill and the mini logo as well is in that sort of brushed gold effect a really really nice touch it sort of signifies that it is an exclusive over let's say a classic or a sport now along the side this is where obviously being a five door you'll notice the biggest difference but we'll start with the wheels these are fantastic and part of the exclusive of course because this is an internal combustion variant we've still got the sort of black elements around the wheels i really like this the spec on this particular car the color this sort of blue against the white roof and the white door mirrors looks fantastic but of course big difference is here where of course if you love a mini you want this hatch but you kind of need a little bit more space this is the one to go for let's just go and take a look before we move around to the back at the interior here now of course don't expect it to be like a countryman because it isn't there isn't just acres and acres of space but there is plenty of space in here loads of knee room this seat is actually quite a long way back as is this one and there's still plenty of knee room headroom i'm sort of kind of just on the roof but let's be honest you're going to be using this for kids which for that this thing is absolutely perfect of course you've got isofix in the center too and it's a lovely place to sit to be honest it doesn't feel cramped which i think is the main thing with this it doesn't feel cramped at all you feel like even as an adult you could do a long distance journey in here but let's be completely honest most people that have these are going to use them for the children and for that it's absolutely spot on now around the rear again we've got the new mini design language so you've got these sort of triangle effect rear lights on here which i think look fantastic and again can be customized on the screen inside we've got cooper s designation across the back the sort of the brushed sort of goldy bronze effects again signifying that this is an exclusive let us know in the comments below what you think of the new design of the five door while you're doing that we're going to jump in the driver's seat and have a look at the interior now if you're an avid viewer of the channel you will have seen that every single video that i do on these new cars i talk about the interior because i think it's fantastic and unless you've sat in one you don't really appreciate how different and how funky and how cool this is and how far a step forwards mini has taken i love this new chunky steering wheel directly in front of me the sort of gold around it signifying this is an exclusive again and i love the sort of fabric effect the whole way across the dash across the door cards as well you get used to the not being an instrument cluster directly in front of you really really quickly instead it's all on a heads-up display now as well and then everything and i mean everything is controlled through the big oled touchscreen in the center your air conditioning's on there your heated seats your satellite navigation pretty much everything there's even a dj function in there of course you can have apple carplay and android auto which will again fill that whole screen in terms of buttons you've only got these sort of five down here so your parking brake your gear selector your engine start your experiences and your volume then you've got your hazards etc all on there as well there's a really useful charging cable sort of fabric i don't know strap across there which keeps your phone nice and in 
the charging pad. You've then got two cup holders here, a little cubby hole here. It's just a really nice place to sit. Now, because this is a level two, we've got a few extras. So the Harmon and Carden sound system, and most among which, this lovely split pano sunroof above me, which opens, as you can see, to let more air in. It's much easier to film when you've got a pano roof. These seats are fantastic. This sort of leather effect is just lovely. It's just a fabulous place to sit. And now you can bring the kids along because there's even more room and there's five doors. Absolutely perfect. Now, if you want any more information on the new Mini five-door hatch, please use the link in the description of this video to contact your nearest Sitna Mini retailer. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon.